Vacuum or suction aspiration uses aspiration to remove uterine contents through the cervix. It may be used as a method of induced abortion, a therapeutic procedure used after miscarriage, or a procedure to obtain a sample for endometrial biopsy. The rate of infection is lower than any other surgical abortion procedure at 0.5%. Some sources may use the terms dilation and evacuation or suction. Dilation and curatage to refer to vacuum aspiration, although those terms are normally used to refer to distinct procedures. History Vacuuming as a means of removing the uterine contents, rather than the previous use of a hard metal curette, was pioneered in 1958 by Drs Wu Yuantai and Wu Xianzhen in China, but their paper was only translated into English on the 50th anniversary of the study that "...ultimately led to the technique becoming the world's most common and safest obstetric procedure." In Canada, the method was pioneered and improved on by Henry Morgenthaler, achieving a complication rate of 0.48% and no deaths in over 5,000 cases. He was the first doctor in North America to use the technique, which he trained other doctors to use. Dorothea Kerslake introduced the method into the United Kingdom in 1967 and published a study in the United States that further spread the technique. Harvey Carman in the United States refined the technique in the early 1970s with the development of the Carman cannula, a soft, flexible cannula that avoided the need for initial cervical dilatation and so reduced the risks of puncturing the uterus. Topic. Clinical uses Vacuum aspiration may be used as a method of induced abortion, as a therapeutic procedure after miscarriage, to aid in menstrual regulation, and to obtain a sample for endometrial biopsy. It is also used to terminate molar pregnancy. When used as a miscarriage treatment or an abortion method, vacuum aspiration may be used alone or with cervical dilation anytime in the first trimester up to 12 weeks gestational age. For more advanced pregnancies, vacuum aspiration may be used as one step in a dilation and evacuation procedure. Vacuum aspiration is the procedure used for almost all first trimester abortions in many countries. Topic. Procedure Vacuum aspiration is an outpatient procedure that generally involves a clinic visit of several hours. The procedure itself typically takes less than 15 minutes. Suction is created with either an electric pump electric vacuum aspiration or EVA or a manual pump manual vacuum aspiration or MVA. A handheld 25 cc or 50 cc syringe can function as a manual pump. Both methods use the same level of suction, and so can be considered equivalent in terms of effectiveness and safety. The clinician may first use a local anesthetic to numb the cervix. Then, the clinician may use instruments called dilators to open the cervix, or sometimes medically induce dilation with drugs. Finally, a sterile cannula is inserted into the uterus and attached via tubing to the pump. The pump creates a vacuum which empties uterine contents. After a procedure for abortion or miscarriage treatment, the tissue removed from the uterus is examined for completeness. Expected contents include the embryo or fetus, as well as the decidua, chorionic villi, amniotic fluid, amniotic membrane, and other tissue. Post-treatment care includes brief observation in a recovery area and a follow-up appointment approximately two weeks later. These would tend to include tests for infection in case any biological material was not properly removed. Additional medications used in vacuum aspiration include NSAID analgesics that may be started already the day before the procedure, as well as misoprostol the day before for cervical ripening. Topic advantages over dilation and curatage Dilation and curatage D&C, also known as sharp curatage, was once the standard of care in situations requiring uterine evacuation. 
However, vacuum aspiration has a number of advantages over DNC and has largely replaced DNC in many settings. Vacuum aspiration may be used earlier in pregnancy than dilation and curatage (DNC). Manual vacuum aspiration is the only surgical abortion procedure available earlier than the sixth week of pregnancy. Vacuum aspiration has lower rates of complications when compared to DNC. Vacuum aspiration, especially manual vacuum aspiration, is significantly cheaper than DNC. The equipment needed for vacuum aspiration costs less than a curette set. While DNC is generally provided only by physicians, vacuum aspiration may be performed by advanced practice clinicians such as physician assistants and midwives. Manual vacuum aspiration does not require electricity and so can be provided in locations that have unreliable electrical service or none at all. Manual vacuum aspiration also has the advantage of being quiet, without the noise of an electric vacuum pump. Topic. Complications When used for uterine evacuation, vacuum aspiration is 98% effective in removing all uterine contents. Retained products of conception require a second aspiration procedure. This is more common when the procedure is performed very early in pregnancy, before six weeks gestational age. Other complications occur at a rate of less than 1 per 100 procedures and include excessive blood loss, infection, injury to the cervix or uterus, including perforation, and uterine adhesions. <laughs> 